Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update or unable to install any Xbox Game Pass game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store because of this error that is 0x800-70422 turn on Windows update. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, type in services in Windows search box and then go to services, find Windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic sorry set it to automatic hit apply click on ok with windows update selected you can click on start or restart and then you can check still not working then open windows settings and then go to system and then go to troubleshoot and then here go to other troubleshooters and then click on windows update you will see the run option so hit a run and on this screen just follow the on screen instruction and then run the troubleshooter and then you can check still not working then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this you can go to xbox app on the top left here you can see your profile icon click on it now go to support and then click on gaming services repair tool click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the process complete once this is done you can close this and then check still not working in that case you can just type in gaming services repair tool in google search and you can go to microsoft website which says xbox support gaming services repair tool for pc click on it and then expand this downloadable version and then scroll down and over here you can see download the gaming services repair tool for pc click on it and then run this exe file Click on yes to allow and then let the process complete. Once you see completed successfully, now you can check. Still you are facing the problem. The next step is to log out and log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So go to Microsoft Store on the top right here. You can see a profile icon. Click on it. Then click on sign out and then click on sign in. And then select the same account. Select the right account which has the Game Pass so make sure that you select the correct account over here now once you enter the account now you have to enter your password or pin over here now once you're logged in now go to xbox app and then again on the top left click on your profile icon click on sign out and then click on sign in sign in and then you have to select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store so you have to log in with same account click on continue and then once you're logged in over here, now you can check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So you can open Windows settings and then go to, go to time and language and then go to date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically is on over here also make sure set time automatically both are on over here and then click on sync now on the bottom here you can see sync now option click on sync now and once the sync is done now you might receive some errors or red red error in that case you have to click on sync now once again try it multiple times once the sync is done now you can go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country your country is selected over here now you can check now the next step is to go to microsoft store library and try installing from microsoft store library now if you are trying to install the game from xbox app in that case go to microsoft store at the bottom left here you can see download option go to downloads and you will see the game in the list now if you see the game over here you can download or install the game from here and then check now, if you are trying to install it from Microsoft Store, in that case, you can search the game in Xbox app and then try to install it from Xbox app. Also, update everything on Microsoft Store. So, just open Microsoft Store. So, go to Microsoft Store, go to Downloads, and over here, you will see Get Updates option. So, click on Get Updates or Update All. Once everything is up to date, now you can check. Now, the next step is to run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command 
and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Then click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color like this. So if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once this is complete you will see everything in red. Once that is done you can close this and then you can try to check. Now still you are facing the problem you can even restart your computer and then check. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. Now for this go to this location so open file explorer and then go to this PC and then open C drive and then open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data on the top click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder and then scroll down and then find Microsoft. You have to find this Windows Microsoft Windows Store and some alpha numeric characters. So scroll down and find that folder over here. So over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alpha numeric character. Open this folder and over here you can see local cache folder. So you have to make a right click and then delete this local cache folder. And once this is deleted, now you can check. Now still you are facing the problem. The next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will open Microsoft Store once again and then you can check. Next step is to repair or reset Xbox app or Microsoft Store. So first of all type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings. Now on this page scroll down and then you will see the repair option. So scroll down and then you will see the repair option. Repair Xbox app and then you can try to check. Still not working. In that case you can perform reset. So click on reset reset and after the reset you can check now still you're facing the problem do the same thing with microsoft store so type in store in windows search box make a right click on microsoft store and then click on app settings and do the same thing over here click on repair and once the repair is done you can check still you're facing the problem you can reset reset and after the reset you can check now still you are facing the problem in, in that case you can update Microsoft Store from store library. So you can open Microsoft Store and then once Microsoft Store is open on the bottom left you will see the library option. You can go to library and then you will see the get updates or update now option. So update everything over here. Once the update is complete you can check. Next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. Now for this copy the first link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website now on this website you will see xbox identity provider click on it and then it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and once microsoft store is open if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button or get button in my case this is already installed so there is no install button but if you see install button or get button install it now the next Again, the next step is to uninstall gaming services from the computer. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Now type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Again, open PowerShell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once this is done, now copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description and then run this on the same window you can paste the command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and you will see the install button or get button to install gaming services click on get or install and then click on yes to allow and then let the download complete now once the download is complete now you can check now still you're facing the problem in that case you have to start all these services 
Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now in the services find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set startup type to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. So if start is highlighted click on start. And once done you can make a right click on IP helper. Click on restart. And then find all the Xbox services. Scroll down and then you will see all these four Xbox services. Make a double click on all Xbox services and then set startup type to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. And again, make a right click on second Xbox services. Set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, select set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic, and then hit apply. Click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now, here you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update, set it to automatic, and then hit apply. Click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now, go to gaming services, find gaming services on the list. Here you can see two gaming services. So, once you see gaming services, make a double click on gaming services. Uh, make a right click on gaming services. Make sure it is running. If not running, make a right click and then click on start. Or if it is already running, you can restart it. And again, second gaming services, you can make a right click on start. If start is highlighted, or click on restart. Now, if it's already running like this, in that case, you can stop it and then you can restart it. So make a right click and then click on stop. Again, make a right click, click on stop, and then you can restart it. Make a right click and then click on start or restart. Again, make a right click and then click on start or restart. And once this is done, now find Microsoft Store install service. Here, here you can see Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now you can check. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. Do not ignore this. So go to Windows update or update and security in Windows settings and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in Windows search box and then go to inet cpl.cpl. Now go to the advanced tab on the top here you can see advanced now scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 use tls 1.2 use tls 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here tls is tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 and 1.3 all four are checked over here now hit apply click on ok and then check now the next step is to try installing it to c drive or different drive so in that case you can open windows settings and then you can go to system and then you can go to storage over here and then over here you can change the storage so click on advanced storage settings and here you can see where new content is saved so you can click on it and now over here if this is selected to some other drive maybe d drive or d drive select c drive and then check now if you, it is already installing in c drive still you're facing the problem now if you have any other drive you can change the drive over here so first of all try to install it to c drive change it to c drive and then once you change it you will see the apply option once you change it to different drive you will see in front of it apply option hit apply so try to install it to c drive if that does not work you can try to install it to different drive and then check next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store and Xbox app. So first of all, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is complete, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer and then in the Microsoft Store, you can type in Xbox app. And then once you see Xbox app, then you will see the install button over here. So you click on install. And once the installation is complete, you can check. Now still not working in that case you can again uninstall xbox app so you can just type in in my case it is uh, now still you're facing the problem in that case you can type in xbox app make a right click and then click on uninstall 
uninstall now once the uninstall is complete you can go to xbox website so in the google search you can type in xbox so type in xbox app and then you can go to xbox.com xbox app for windows pc and then on this website you can scroll down and then install xbox app from this website so now you can scroll down over here you can see download the app option and once the download is complete run this exe file and then follow the on screen instruction just install xbox app agree install it and after the installation you can check now it's still not working do the same thing with microsoft store to uninstall microsoft store you can copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and you have to run this as an administrator and then click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key once this is store is uninstalled you can copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description you can restart your computer if you want try to restart it once and then you can run the second command now once you run the second command this will reinstall microsoft store on your computer and you should be able to open microsoft store and then you can check next step is to update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool so if nothing is working you can update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel